YouTube, it's your boy Lewis here, aka London Pokemon, and welcome to my channel, where we keep it real, and you know we keep it 100. Thanks for tuning in to today's video, wherever you're watching in the world right now, as it's a pleasure as always to have you all on board for this journey to catch them all. Now guys, in today's video, we'll be opening up a wide range of different products, including these two brilliant stars check name blisters. As you can see, the one on the left contains the Flapple promo card and the one on the right contains the EV promo card. So we'll be getting stuck into those shortly. In addition to that, we've also got ourselves two more check name blisters, this time in the form of Evolving Skies. As you can see, the one on the left contains the Galarian Slowpoke promo card and the one on the right also has an EV promo card as well. So looking forward to getting stuck into that. Hopefully we can find ourselves a lovely evolution to pull. But it doesn't stop there as we also have two mini tins that we're gonna be getting stuck into. We have ourselves the Charmander mini tin on the left hand side there and the one on the right has the Turtwig on the front. Now, the left one definitely will contain Dancer Blaze and Vivid Voltage as I've opened up plenty of those in the past, pulling the Charizard V and the Charizard V Max as well as the Chunkachu V Max as well, all from these mini tins. So that I've had great luck with those in the past, but I've never opened up these ones on the right. So interested to see what we get in those mini tins. However guys, before we crack open some boosters, I must turn things towards our giveaway that was announced in last Friday's video, with the prize being this Bolton V Box, as you can see on screen right now. So this will be going and will be given away to someone very, very shortly. Now, like I said, this was announced in last week's video and all you had to do to enter the giveaway was simply like that video. You have to be a subscriber to the channel and you also have to drop a comment on which set you thought won the mini pack battle. And I must say that pretty much everyone sided with Brilliant Stars due to that old art Luminium pool in what was a crazy video. So many amazing hits. However, guys, without further ado, the winner of the giveaway is Noah Conway! Congratulations to you, Noah. Congratulations on winning this Bolton V-Box. As you can see on screen right now, it comes with the Jumbo card. It also comes with two other cards as well as four booster packs. And that there is your giveaway prize. Congratulations once again on winning that. And all you have to do to claim your prize, Noah, is simply contact me through either the email in the description down below, or alternatively, you can reach out to me via Instagram on the London Pokemon on Instagram page and I will then get that sent out to you ASAP so congratulations Noah that will be coming to you very very soon well done once again and I'd also like to say a big thank you to everyone who also entered the giveaway and I would also like to thank you all for the continued support on the channel we are very very nearly at that 1k subscriber milestone and we've got big plans coming for the channel when we hit that milestone so please make sure to continue supporting the channel like I said we're nearly at 1k so if you haven't already done so, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you're able to, then please make sure to smash that like button as well. Okay, guys, let's go on the hunt for some fire in today's pack opening. I think we'll get stuck into the check claim blisters first and foremost. Now, I don't typically um, get much luck with these products, but I think we'll get stuck into the Brilliant Stars first and foremost. So let's get stuck into the one with the Flapple promo card. There'll be plenty of code cards going away in today's video as obviously I give away all of the code cards from all of the boosters, but I think all of these products also come with an additional code card. So let's sort all that out. There is that code card for you all at home. So good luck to whoever receives that. We'll have a closer look at the promo card as well. Hopefully that's coming across well at home. That is the Flapple promo card, one that I believe we've seen on the channel in the past. I will still sleeve it up though, and I will place it onto one of the easels at the back. And then it also comes with that Jumbo coin as well, which is a Venusaur, black and gold Venusaur coin. Let's see how well that comes across there without giving too much away of my face. That might just be a uh, face reveal coming very, very soon. I'll give you a little bit of a look there. I'm wearing my baseball cap today. So there we go, black and gold Venusaur coin. 
And that is it other than our booster pack, which comes in the form of an Arceus pack art. Now guys, we will be getting stuck into this very, very shortly, but let me tell you what it is that we still need from this set. We haven't got any of the Charizard yet, so we still need the Charizard V, the Charizard Full Art, as well as the V-Star version and the Rainbow Rare version of that V-Star. Then I would also love to get the Charizard alternate art as well as the Arceus alternate art. And we also can get stuff from that trainer gallery slot. So the um, second to last slot. Um, and I would love to pull the trainer gallery Mimikyu or the Umbreon. So there we go. Let's chuck that packaging to the side and let's give you a code card at home. As all of you would have seen in our previous video, we did pull that old art Luminion from um, a Brilliant Stars booster. Um, in our last pack opening. So we kickstart this one off with a V-Star marker this time around. Still plenty of cards still to get from this set. We move on into, and we start things off with a Primplap. Cinchino follows that card. Going on into a Cleansing Gloves Train card. Ryolu comes after that one in the form of a Fighting type Pokemon. Going straight into a Starly, moving on into a Spirit Tomb. After our Spirit Tomb follows a Purloin, so Darkness Pokemon into Darkness Pokemon. After this card, we have ourselves a Milcery. Moving in, moving on into what I believe is our Reverse Hollow of this pack, so potentially that Trainer Gallery slot, we have a Gloria Trainer card, which is an uncommon, so nothing special from that Reverse Hollow slot. We go into our Rare. What do we have? We have a Grim Snarl non holo Rare, so no First Pack Magic there. Check Lane Blisters not providing any First Pack Magic, so we'll chuck that down to the side. Going straight on into the second one. Uh, this one is the one with the EV promo card, so let's see how easily we can get this off. There we go. We've got our booster pack, which comes in the form of Whimsicott this time round. We will, of course, give you another code card, so good luck to whoever gets that. Do let me know if you're getting anything cool in that. And then, of course, we get the same coin, which we don't need to look at again. Um, but the promo card is, of course, different. We've got ourselves that lovely Evo, Evo? EV card there. We are going to be on the hunt for Evolutions or Evolutions a little bit later on. Um, lovely um, hollow pattern there. So we will get that quickly sleeved up and placed onto one of the easels at the back. However, I'll be hoping to add some hits alongside to all of the promo cards that we get in today's opening. So straight into the Whimsicott pack this time. Let's see if we can pull one of those Charizard cards. That Luminion alternate art is a card that obviously we got last time round. But other than that, there, we haven't been overly blessed with hits from the Brilliant Stars set. And we have opened up a fair amount of it on the channel. So here we go. Let's quickly chuck that package in to the side. We'll give you another code card at home. Code cards galore today. Chuck that to the side as well. And of course, we go four rounds to the front. And we've got back-to-back V-Star markers. So we start this one off with that V-Star marker. And we go in into a Probo Pass. Following this, we have a Primplup. After this card, we have ourselves a Cinchino. Moving on into a Chimcha. Minchino follows this one. So we've had a Cinchino and a Minchino and the Chimcha as well. So all the chairs in this one. Baltoy follows this card there. After this, we go into a Snow Rump. Moving on into the next card, which is a Nose Pass. We did actually pull Probo Pass in this pack opening as well. Snow Run is our reverse holo of this one. So we got ourselves the regular version and the reverse holo version. It is just a common. As we move on into our rare at the back of this booster, can we get any magic from this one? We have a Star Raptor non holo rare. So quite poor from the one um, pack check lane blisters there from Brilliant Stars at least anyway. We move on into um, Evolving Skies next. Like I said, we've got the Eevee promo card and the Galarian Slowpoke. We'll get stuck into the one with the Galarian Slowpoke first. Now, I have mentioned before that these one pack blisters are not really the one for me, to be honest. I picked them up um, just because they were there, to be honest. My local stores haven't been stocking too much recently. We have a quick look at the Galarian Slowboat card. Very, very nice indeed. Nice little swirl on the top right corner there as well. I'm sure you can all see. So we'll get that saved up. So yeah, like I said, my local shops haven't had too much in stock recently. They've had a few of these, so that's why I picked these up. But in openings gone by, we haven't pulled too much fire from them 
as we have our coin, if I can get it out, there we go. Black and silver coin this time round. We can get that into focus. There we go. One that I'm sure you've seen on the channel plenty of times before. And we move on into our Evolving Skies booster. Now, of course, is a set of the Evolutions. We are looking for the Vaporeon and the Jolteon VMAX. Leafeon Full Art, as well as the Glaceon Full Art, would be two lovely cards to pull. I would also love to pull the Espeon V and the Sylveon V alternate art as well. And then, of course, the Umbreon VMAX, Reaching for the Moon alternate art, and the Rayquaza alternate art as well would be a lovely card to pull. So let's get those cards out, there we go. Let's give you a code card at home. So there we go, good luck to whoever receives that. We'll chat that to the side as well. And we shall do four round to the front. And we have our first energy of today's opening, which is a psychic type energy. Okay. We move on into our first card of this opening, of this Evolving Skies opening, I should say, which is a treasure energy card. After this, we have ourselves a Fluffy, which is a lightning type Pokemon. Moving on into our next one, which is a Braviary. After this, we go on into a Feebas. Moving on into the next card of today's opening, which is a Hitmonchan. I do really love that artwork there. Very nice. Boxing the raindrops away. Moving on into our next card, which is a Slack Off. After the Slack Off, we have a Petalil. Going on into our next one, which is a Pikachu. You've got to love Pikachu. Going into what I believe is our Reverse Hollow, we have ourselves an Ampharos Reverse Hollow, which is a rare actually. So that's not bad to pull from the rare slot, as obviously, uh, from the Reverse Hollow slot, sorry, as obviously there is no Trainer Gallery set. Going on into our rare of this boost pack, can we get any magic? Of course. Like I said, one pack blisters haven't been too um, brilliant in the past, but let's see what we can get. We have a Rayquaza V! We will take it, Rayquaza V! Pulled from the Evolving Skies Booster Pack. I cannot say that I was expecting to get anything from this um, check lane blister. However, Rayquaza V has been pulled, and it is one that I will happily take. It's not a card that I've got. So we'll happily sleeve that up and we will class that as our first hit of today's opening. So not too bad at all. Rayquaza V pulled from our booster pack. And we do have one more to come as well. This time we crack open the one with the Eevee promo card um, on the front. We shall rip that open. And there we go. We'll of course give you another code card at home. Good luck to whoever receives that. Chat that to the side as well. And there we go, we've got the EV promo card as well. Again, another gorgeous promo card, um, especially when they've got that Cosmos um, hollow foil pattern. So we'll quickly get that saved up as well. That's very nice indeed. And it is also the same coin, so we don't need to have another look at that. And we have the one with the Umbreon pack art this time. So let's see if that can be a sign to potentially, uh, well, don't I say it get the Umbreon alternate art. So let's rip this one open. Okay, there we go. We'll chat that to the side and we'll give you the, another code card at home. Good luck to whoever receives that. That goes flying as well. And we do four out to the front. And we have ourselves a water type energy. We move on into our first card of this booster pack, which is a moon and sun badge trainer card. Toy catcher trainer card follows that one. Going on into a gold deck. Shout out to the real breaking Nate. After this, we have ourselves a Swablu. Litleo follows this card here. Going on into a Chinchow. After this one, we have a Dino, which is a Dragon type Pokemon. Moving on into our next card, which is a Pumpkaboo. Very fitting as we are coming up to Halloween. After this, we have ourselves a Carvana, which is a Reverse Hollow, which is just a common. Going on into our rare at the back of this booster, do we get anything? Let's find out. We have a Floor Just Hollow, and I will take it. Not too bad at all. Floor Just Hollow, not too bad from Evolving Skies. One V here and a Hollow Rare. And considering what my luck is with these um, one pack blisters, I will happily take those two hits there. So not too bad at all from Evolving Skies. We shall get that steved up. And we've got all of our easels nice and filled at this moment in time. And we still got our mini tins to go as well. I think we shall get stuck into the Charmander mini tin first and foremost. Like I said, I'm expecting Vivid Voltage and Darkness Ablaze from this mini tin. Haven't opened up Darkness Blaze, Darkness Ablaze um, in a while, but from this mini tin, I have pulled, or from these mini tins, I should say, I have pulled the Charizard V, the Charizard V Max in the past. There is the coin, the Dragonite coin. There we go. Then it also comes with the artwork, which is there. 
um, which matches the front of the tin. And then as predicted, we've got the Vivid Voltage. This one comes with Zerud on the front. And then we've also got ourselves, as predicted, the Darkness Ablaze as well. So as I was previously mentioning, I have pulled the Charizard V, the Charizard V Max, and the Pikachu V Max, all from booster packs that have been within these um, mini tins. So our luck has been absolutely amazing with these in the past. I think we'll crack open Darkness Ablaze first and foremost. Um, we are still after plenty of cards from this set, although we have actually got the rarest card. We still need the Center Scorch and the Sizor V Max. I would also love to pull the Houndoom and the Crobat Fuller, as well as the Sizor and the uh, the Sizor Fuller and the Butterfree rainbow rare and then there's also the golden rillaboom and the golden colossal which are two cards that i would also love to get so let's chuck that to the side and show that off to you all at home there we go and we shall now do four rounds to the front and we kick start this booster pack off with a fire type energy moving on into a rare fossil trainer card after this we have a simmer sage moving on into the next one which is a Simapore. After that, we have ourselves a Meltan. Bunnelby follows that one. Lovely work by Tomokozu Kamiya. After this, we go on into a Paras. Again, lovely artwork on that card as well. Moving on into the next one, which is a Lavatar. We go on into the next one, which is a Golette. Approaching the reverse holo slot, we have ourselves. A Serena Reverse Holo, which is actually a rare, so that's not too bad from our Reverse Holo slot. Going on to our actual rare of this opening, we have a Lipard non holo rare. So just a regular rare Lipard there, so nothing too crazy. Let's get stuck into Vivid Voltage next. I'll save this one because we're still on the hunt for that Rainbow Rare Chunkachu. Um, and all of the other cards we need are Pikachu V, Pikachu Full Art, the, All the All Beetle V Max, as I also mentioned as well, the Chunkachu Rainbow Rare, Zerud Full Art, as well as the Alakazam Full Art. And then, of course, we can also still get the amazing rares in this set. And I would love to pull the Celebi or the Rayquaza Full Art. Um, sorry, um, amazing rare, sorry. Don't know where the word Full Art come from, or the words Full Art came from. There's another code card at home. And we shall now do four rounds to the front. And we kickstart this one off with a metal type energy. We move on into a Kakuna with those Kanto vibes. After this, we have ourselves a Loudred. Moving on into the next card, which is a Wind on Stadium. Tynamo follows this card there. After this one, we have a Clobopus. Wubat comes in after that. As we go on into a Talo. After the tailor, we have ourselves a Charmander. Going on into the next one, which is a Reverse Holo Clefairy, which is just a common. Going on into the rare of this booster pack. Do we have any magic? We have a Don Fan non holo rare. So again, nothing too crazy from that one. Just a regular rare Don Fan. So not too bad so far from our opening. We've opened up six booster packs up until now. Two hits in that Rayquaza V and the Flaudra. So Evolving Skies providing the heat. As we go on into our Turtwig mini tin this time round, let's see if we can get this off without the need for scissors. Possibly, there, there we go. Okay, so, oh, there's only half the job done actually. Scissors is gonna have to do the other half, I'm afraid. There we go, okay. Now, let's see what boost packs we get from inside of here, because I'm really not entirely sure. So let's crack it open. Okay, we've got ourselves a jumbo black and gold um, Pikachu coin first and foremost to show off. So very nice. Then we've also got the matching artwork for the tin in the form of the tart wig. And then we also have ourselves our booster pack. So we've got ourselves a Fusion Strike. We're still on the hunt for all of those Mew cards. We also have ourselves a Chilling Rain as well. So again, I really like Chilling Rain, to be honest with you. I know it's not everyone's um, favorite set, and I know that the pull rates are quite hard, but I believe some of the cards in that actual set are absolutely gorgeous. So if you can pull some fire, then it is definitely fire. Okay, guys, I think we'll get stuck into, let's go into Chilling Rain first and foremost. I'm hoping that that Fusion Strike may have the old art Gengar inside. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. 
the Ice and the Shadow Rider Calyrex VMAX Alternate Arts, two cards that we need from this one. We also need that Galarian Rapidash Full Art as well as the Galarian Rapidash Alternate Art, two absolutely gorgeous cards. Blaziken Full Art as well as the Blaziken VMAX Alternate Art. And then we also need the Golden Electrode and the Golden Snorlax from this set as well. Those are two really cool looking cards. So there is another code card for you. And we shall now do four rounds to the front. I would love to get at least one more hit from today's opening, but at least we have got that Rayquaza V so far. And we start this one off with a Lucky Leaf type energy. Flaffy follows that one. Going on into a Path to the Peak trainer card. Ledian comes in after that. Going on into a Clobopus. After this card, we have ourselves a Grookey. Moving on into our next card, which is a Sneasel. Following this water type Pokemon, we have ourselves a Score Bunny. Going on into the next one, which is a fur through. Our reverse holo of this booster pack is a Squovet reverse holo, which is just a common. Going on into the rare of the um, booster pack. Let's see if we can get ourselves any penultimate pack magic. We have a Galarian Articuno V! Let's go! Galarian Articuno V full art pulled from the Chilling Rain booster pack. Let's go! I absolutely love Alternate Arts and Full Arts, and we have just gone and pulled ourselves the Galarian Articuno V Full Art. Let's go. Like I said, chilling rain, pull rates are quite hard, but when you get them, when you pull those cards and they are absolute fire, just like this absolutely gorgeous Galarian Articuno V, what a hit that one is from chilling rain. I think that's the first time I've actually ever said penultimate pack magic, and it seems to have worked. So that there is definitely a phrase that I'm gonna be using from now on. Galarian Articuno V, full art from Chilling Rain, pulled from that booster pack. Very, very nice indeed. Over the moon with that hit there. Like I did say, I would love to pull at least one more from this opening, and for it to be a full art, well, that makes me even more happy. So absolutely top stuff there. Let's get that sleeved up and we can put that onto one of the easels at the back. That is most definitely our best hit so far. And we still have ourselves one more booster pack to go. This one here is the Fusion Strike. There we go, the one with the Genesex pack art on the front. And we still need the Mew VMAX as well as the Rainbow Rare version. The Mew VMAX alternate art and the Mew V alternate art are also cards that we need, as well as the Greedon and the Mew full art, so plenty of Mews in this set. Then we also need the Celebi V alternate art as well as the Gengar VMAX alternate art. So we've still got 45% of this set still to complete as we chuck away the packaging and give you all a code card at home. Oh no, it's a back to front code card. I was wondering what was going on there. Um, so back to front code card and it is a white bordered code card, which highly suggests that we're not gonna get any magic. Rarely do you see the Fusion Strike ones turn the wrong way around. I, initially, I literally just saw the top of it and I was like, is that a V-Star marker in here? But no, it's not. Let's give you that code card anyway at home, but it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting any last pack magic, which is a bit of a spoiler. But we will still keep our fingers crossed one, two, three, and four round to the front. Really, really hate it when they show the code card the wrong way round, but let's see anyway. Psychic type energy starts off this one. Going on into a Farewell Bell trainer card. Simiseer follows that one with absolutely gorgeous artwork from Tomokozu Kamiya there, that is beautiful. After this, we have ourselves a Frostmoth. Moving on into the next one, we have a Plusel. After this electric type Pokemon, we have ourselves a Sandy Ghast. Going on into a Stuffle again. I believe we, no, plus what we pulled before. Very similar sounding names. After this one, we have ourselves a Rookadee. Following this, we have ourselves a Galarian Darumaka. Going on into an Azumarill, which is a rare. So we did get a rare reverse holo at the very least. Going on to the actual rare of this booster pack, I can't say I'm expecting too much, but we'll keep our fingers crossed anyway. Final card of today's opening is an Electrode non holo rare. So as anticipated, nothing from that final booster pack, but not to worry because we did just get a fantastic hit from our previous booster. Okay guys, let's quickly grab all of these cards here. We shall have a quick recap of our promo cards that we've got as well as the hits that we pulled and I'll be back in just a second.
a few moments later and we're back okay guys let's have ourselves a lovely little recap of what we did get today so we'll fly through those promo cards quickly we got ourselves the flapple the galarian slowpoke as well which came with the evolving skies blister this is the eevee card that came with the evolving skies blister i do really love the hollow foil pattern on those promo cards i really wish that they'd um, introduce those into the actual sets um, themselves then we've also got ourselves the other EV as well, which was from the Brilliant Stars Checkmate Blisters, which didn't really give us too much luck today. However, the Evolving Skies ones most certainly did. We got ourselves a Hollow Rare Florgeous um, from Evolving Skies. So that was one of our hits from today's video. Also from Evolving Skies, for the first time ever, we pulled ourselves the Rayquaza V. So quite happy to have pulled that. Um, that there is a very nice card to be added to the collection. But the best hit by a million miles from today's video comes from Chilling Rain and comes in the form of the full art Galarian Articuno V. And that was pulled from our penultimate pack, so penultimate pack magic. And we went and pulled ourselves the Galarian Articuno V full art. So over the moon to have pulled that card there. That there is most definitely the star of the show. So let's put it right there in the middle for all to see. Very, very nice hit there indeed. Okay guys, thank you so much for tuning into today's pack open. Big congratulations again to Noah Conway on um, winning today's um, giveaway. Make sure to stay tuned to the channel as well as we've got plenty more fun content coming your way as well as plenty more giveaways as well. Please make sure that you've liked today's video and if you are new to the channel then make sure you've subbed with all notifications on. But guys, until next time, keep it real, keep it 100 and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.